Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to multiply uh, this monomial to um, all of my terms inside of my parentheses, which would be a trinomial. Um, in this case, a trinomial is also a quadratic. But let's try to get away from all the definitions. Basically, we just want to apply distributive property, right? So when remember distributive property, if I just had some uh, arbitrary terms, our variables a, b, and c, the distributive property tells us to multiply the a times both those terms. So a times b plus a times c. So in this case, all I'm simply doing is multiplying that throughout. Now, to kind of avoid me making so many mistakes, a lot of times what I like to do is and just rewrite the product for each one. Um, and actually, I'm just going to add them, negative 2y. Because really, what I'm doing is just multiplying these uh, to negative 4y plus negative 2y times 3. Now, obviously, when I have a negative times you know, like a positive, then I'm going to change that. Instead of adding a negative, I will now turn that into a subtraction problem. So whenever we're multiplying um, our monomials, make sure that, remember, we multiply the coefficients, but then we add the exponents. And remember, if we don't have an exponent in front, we can represent that as a 1. OK? So here I have negative 7 times, uh, or negative 2 times 7, which is a negative 14. And then I have y. When we multiply exponents, we add the powers. Now, this one's going to be a negative times a negative, which would be positive. So it would be a positive. 2 times 4 is 8, y to the 1 plus 1. And then this is negative 2 times positive 3, which would be a negative 6 to y to the first. All right, so now I'll just simplify this one more by adding my power. So I have negative 14, y cubed plus 8, y squared minus 6y. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is um, how you multiply a monomial times a trinomial by applying the distributive property. Thanks.